Ron asks, "What's your opinion on realtors getting additional designations to stand out?" I know I'm going to get heat, but I'm going to tell you, I've never in my career ever have lost a deal because I didn't have a designation. Right? I'm a realtor. From condos to castles, baby. From mobile mobile homes to mansions. I, that's just what I do. I sell homes, and I can tell you the consumer. Doesn't even know what the designation is. One, they don't know what a GRI stands for, right? Number one. Number two, you're not even educating with it on it. You're you're putting it on your card. You're not educating it. And guys, cards are starting to go away, right? People aren't. I, I don't even carry cards on me, right? I, I say, give me your email. I'll shoot you a quick email with my contact information, and it's done. Or I'll share my contact, and it's done. So cards are going away. The GRI and the other designations. I'm not knocking them, and I'm not because I don't want to get heat from people who have them. What I'm telling you is. I know a lot of realtors who have a million designations that don't sell crap. They don't, and they're not even the greatest realtors. Some of them I've met. Now I know I'm being biased. I know there's a lot of great ones out there, but I'm telling you to focus your time and energy on that. I'd rather you take that time. I'd rather you take that energy and focus it on how to best market yourself, how to best position yourself to be the best realtor, how to service your client, right? Because you can have a GRI or all these designations, but provide crappy service, and guess what? It means nothing. It's just like a real estate license. I took my real estate license. I pass. Does that mean I'm a realtor? Yes. Am I qualified and good? No. I just got my license. I'm telling you, I'm the worst test taker in the world. But I am a killer service person. So I provide great service, and I don't care what designations or 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 awards or any of that that someone has. I can tell you, service-wise, it's bar. There's no comparison. We're in this business to build a long-term career, and if we're going to do that, we need to focus on what really matters. And I'm telling you, what matters is the consumer, right? The consumer's matters the most. And I promise you, the consumer is not going to go. Well, what designations do you have? Because I'm looking at only people with this or that. Sometimes GRI to GRI, Sacramento, Texas, they may refer another GRI、mm -hmm. agent. But guess what? I mean, I'm referring an agent that's going to fit my client and match them the best. The GRI is not going to determine whether it is. I'm not going to say, well, you're at a higher standard, and that's just not how that works. So I can see some people saying, well, I, you know, we refer business back and forth, and okay, great. You should not put money, energy, and efforts towards it unless you can actually see where it's going to be in help for the consumer. The National Association of Realtors should find a way to fix that and make it more relative and make it so it, it's valuable to the consumer because that's all that matters. Anything else does not matter. Nothing else matters. Whatever the consumer wants, the consumer should get right, and we should be. Cherishing that relationship to one build a long-term business to show our value to to do a great job and this designation is not going to help do that. Period.